up YouTube? Uh, this is Car Attic here. I got good news for me and for anybody else with K-Tuner. Now, if you check the updated version or if you go in your K-Tuner, I think you go to, uh, you can't click the little help button because it just takes you to the website, but if you help click the help uh, drop down, there's a check version and uh, it'll say you're up to date. If you got 1.06 1.0.6.0 is I believe what it is. It'll say you're up to date, but you're not. You have to go to the website and download it, and it's 1.0.6.1. There is a, in the quick disables, there's only three things. Early spool, boost target dampening disable, and disable revving. There's three uh, checkboxes. Boost target dampening disable, which I don't do because I don't like it. Uh, there is early spool, which I have enabled, but I haven't really driven much with it yet to see what it's like. And then there is the disable rev hang. I have the exact same map in two different spots on the uh, car, or on the K-Turner. One has rev hang, one doesn't. And before I go even further, for anybody who's still uh, ignorant to the fact doesn't want to believe that rev hang exists, want to come up with stupid ass arguments. If you didn't have rev hang, they wouldn't worry about their time to get rid of it. So, what's up with my fat ass hillbilly foot now? Most of you people have no idea what I'm talking about right there, but for the few that you do, I figured it's worth throwing it in there anyways. So, now, uh, I'll drive around in a minute after I stop and flash the map with Rev Hang, show you uh, what it is like with Rev Hang, obviously. I'm not gonna get into it too much though, because I got a video proving it to the non-believers who still were non-believers probably. Anyways, um, then I'll drive like uh, the same way with the Rev Hang disabled, and we'll see how it is. There is three drop downs that are tar uh, throttle padding. There's normal throttle padding, medium throttle padding, and soft throttle padding. And what it is, is it's to kind of counter effect, counteract the disable rev hang. So if you don't like how abrupt throttle cut is, then you can soften that cut. Every drop down gets more aggressive as you choose the next option. And it goes from standard, medium, soft. So I assume soft throttle dampening is the least amount so it'll be the harshest cut when you chop the throttle with your foot uh, so that's the one I chose now the only time I have a feeling I am going to care about not having rev hang is in traffic and in case it doesn't sh uh, come through in this car I actually recorded yesterday in my Accord because what I'm talking about is if you're in traffic and you don't want to shift all the time, so you put it in first gear and you're going, you get to like three grand and you're trying to get real light on at the coast and then all of a sudden you hit that threshold where like the car just dies. I mean, obviously that's more of a fuel cut, ignition cut type of situation because you are you actually have a drive-by wire. I mean, you actually drive by wire. You actually have a cable from your foot to the, the throttle rotor, so you're basically always in control. This car is drive by wire, so your pedal is just has a sensor and it's telling the throttle body what to do. So it's not the same situation, but I have a feeling it's gonna be the same outcome, where if you're going and you let off the throttle, instead of that nice, so you got your TPS signal, you let off and it just tanks, but the command drops and then it kind of feathers out. So there's not that, you're gonna be that rough jerk, it's just gonna be like a nice steady throttle closure slowing down so here's where uh, the rev hang can help you a tiny bit you're in traffic I guess let's say you don't want to keep having to shift so you stay in first gear and you get going and then traffic stops and it just cuts and when you want to get on it like let's see if you can see how much the car jerks get going you're like three grand let off and it just cuts So with the, I mean, with the fuel cut, it doesn't really, I mean, with the rev hang, I 
why I keep wanting to say fuel cut this time. With the rev hang, it won't do that. You let off, and it smoothly kind of slows down instead of doing that. So we'll see if that happens in this car without the rev hang. Now, one other cool thing, even 1.0.6.0 did it. There is a firmware update for the B2, and the only thing I've noticed, let me turn it a little bit brighter so you can see, the only thing I've noticed is data logging uh, has another way of doing it. I'll get the GoPro out of the mount in a second and show you what I'm talking about. All right, so obviously it still looks the same as it did doing that, but now there is the onboard logging, enable and disable. And the way I have the auto log parameters set, this doesn't really change much for me because I had the auto log parameters set to like 10 RPM, 1% throttle. I had it so low that anytime I hit enable, it started logging. Disable stopped it. Good news is now I can actually set a real threshold because I was trying to log everything when I wanted to log. So I always had to disable it and then I couldn't really have a threshold where like, say I wanted to get in a race, spur of the moment, and I wanted to log it, I'd have to remember that, I couldn't automatically do it. Now, I can set the threshold higher again because it has a start log button, which changes the stop log because now I'm logging. And you can also see that red light hopefully flashing in the corner. And then you hit stop log, red light's gone. It's not logging anymore. So that's pretty cool. The other last uh, oddity I'll show you regarding this V2, I did talk to them and they told me, well, I forget exactly what they told me, but it's basically the data the ECU spits out uh, for this display shows 83, but when you look at a log, it is 100%. So now here's what I'm talking about. I'll change item three to my TPS and I'll change six to command. So that's my foot, that's the throttle plate. Okay, watch what happens here. They stay pretty even. But watch what happens when I hit 100. It only goes to 83, here we go. something that will change someday for now I'm not even gonna monitor it I just did it to look at the rev hang to see how the two drop when I let off compared to each other but uh, I never monitor that anyways I always have AFR not control right there I'm going to the store right now I will then flash the uh, no rev hang map let's see how good I can drive shifting and holding the camera I will drive I will uh, flash the no rev hang map and then we'll see how it acts. Now, unrelated to any of this crap, the Integra I haven't done shit to. Uh, I've been working just straight through every day. I got another seven days of 10 hour days coming up before I take uh, some time off, but I won't have any time for the car until like the 26th. Then I only have one day and I'm back to 710s. So, good news is I'm making money for the project. The bad news is I don't have any time for the project. All right, so I got out of the store. All I gotta say is a successful trip. I friggin' love Dots. And they have that big ass bin of dollar candy. And there's always Swedish fish and raisin nets and all kinds of shit, but they never got Dots. There's usually like, one box if you dig, and this time there's a couple on top, so. God, that's good. Alright, show you what I'm going to record right now, which is going to be no rev hang as soon as it's done flashing. That's at 11%. Alright, so we're finalizing, and I got good news. This is a good box. I got like 
five yellows and like four greens, and that's it. I was gonna eat those first to get them out of the way. They're not bad. But they're not as good as the red and the pink or orange. All right, here we go. Okay, America. Are you ready? And maybe Canada, because some of you guys up in Canada are watching my videos. Mostly it's the U.S., though. Before the battery dies, let's go see if Rev Hang still exists. Well, it no longer goes whoom past where I'm revving if I'm wide open when I push the clutch in and let off the gas. Oh, Rev Hang. Rev Hang, where are you? You're fucking gone. All right, so I was out there recording, battery died. The point I was getting to was, now it's just like my older record with an actual throttle cable. You are on the gas, and you let off, and <sighs> the car just falls on its face, like it should, because when you let off the gas, you want the damn throttle plate to close. That's the whole point. I mean, it is pretty convenient for cruising in traffic, like I was saying, it's the only thing, because you can stay on the, the throttle, and first, even get up as high as like 35, 4 grand, and then traffic stops. Because no, there's never like a solid 3 mile an hour traffic. It's always 1, 7, 1, 7, 1, 7. And you don't want to keep operating the clutch a million times during the day. Even as soft as the clutch is, it's just a pain. So, and then it would go, and do a nice smooth slowdown instead of the jerkiness. So that's the only time I'm going to care is in traffic. But... I don't even drive the car in traffic because I don't want to put uh, 700 miles a week on my car for work. And I'd get in it absolutely filthy because uh, I look pretty disgusting when I edit work. I usually have grease and shit all over sometimes. The other day from like shin to neck I was just caked. So I don't want to get into my new car like that. And here's Mama Kitty to join me. Uh, anyways... Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I will see you on the next one. All right, later. And here's my uh, outro that my daughter filmed for me yesterday. Sit down. One. Peace out, YouTube. Louder. Peace out, YouTube. Peace out, YouTube.